you know, ducky with the with the turtle's knowledge. Some sort of mutanima? I am the Pope of Pizza. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know who wrote that, but that's amazing. Oh no, the stun? Yeah, okay. Oh my lord, you're DPing everything! Okabe, the, uh, the writing was all you? That was golden. I want that on a sticker. Just this, the, the pixel art of this rap saying, I'm the Pope of Pizza. I would pay you cash money for that. Oh, seriously, no, this girl is whiff punishing anything. Okay. No jumping allowed. Oh wait, is that a little le like leaping command grab? Oh no, the walk forward throw. Oh no, she was in the air. Oh no, come on, don't trade like that! Yeah, the, it's, it's Ume Shoryu's all day long. Yeah, this isn't even the hardest level of AI, I know. I went for the very, very reasonable level 5 out of 8. And here we are with Miss Cheetah the Goddess destroying the Pope of Pizza. Okay, I, I need to I need to figure out timing for for those DPs. And to stop getting whiff punished like that. Oh jeez, no. Okay, I this is get off. Really? No, too early. Punish the Omega. Okay. Do it again. No, no, jump. Oh, so I don't trade against your supers? I see. I see. No! When she pounces after the claw roll jump. Yeah, okay, that, that's what I figured. Um... I was wondering if I could knock her out of it, like jab her out of it or something, but just jump is the better option. Honestly, this is a remarkably, like this AI right here is a remarkably good training AI for like, don't whiff punish, um, right? Like, like just between that leaping command grab and her DP, it just forces you to be able to like mix up your options and guess and it's like it's gonna yeah right it's gonna train you if you're not paying attention for that thing coming in and the stun Oh, uh, no, not paying attention, see? Yeah, and tech fundamentals, absolutely. The AI, also by you, and yep, its goal is to teach you the game. Which, I mean, it's, okay, like, that is, it sounds so silly that I would even have to ask for that. Like, of course, an AI should be doing, like, the game should teach you to play the game as you go. 
but it's something that so many fighting game AIs get fundamentally wrong, right? Where they don't actually do a good job of training you for the kinds of things you need to look for as a player in a competitive fighting game. But like immediately with this, I'm already like, oh, okay, yeah. Like this, like this is cruel. I can only imagine at level eight what it's like, um, right? But like, look, no, no, recognize the jump-ins, right? Recognize that you have to change your spacing to go after it. Oh, she's gonna, right? She's ready to DP me, ready to whiff punish me. That's, it's really good. Thank you. All right, there we go. Yeah, not using high-low mix-ups effectively. This is probably true. So is it all crouches um, are actually lows? Or am I going to find, like, uh, April with a uh, stand light kick that is a low? Nice combo there, Cheetah. Come on. Oh, yes. Mm. Now, oh! Yeah, see, still not, not doing well with the jumps. Yeah, at 8 makes almost no mistakes. Yeah, like, the AI I can imagine being frustrated, but like, I mean, don't, don't put it at level 5. Like, honestly, if the, if the lower AI difficulties could still offer you a challenge without being just kind of like brain dead, then, yeah, use them, that's what they're there for, right? for it, but I didn't jump. If nothing else, play it for Casey Jones. Yes, of course. Of course Casey has to use the Jose Canseco bat, right? Oh, uh, okay. Well, that's better timing, but I don't know if I'm going to anti or sweep her reliably. This is what I'm gonna have to do to get past this girl. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, Casey was always a fun character. Casey, reminiscent of the movie. Okay, cool. That, that was probably my favorite incarnation of Casey Jones. That's really cool. <laughs> Jumping timing. Oh, 
Aw, oh, come on. I thought I was being clever. Too close, get thrown. And there's the leap. I'm just like chipping away at her. I'm almost there. I just want to get through this one. Oh no. Yo, and then it moves so far forward that it does a really good job of chasing down. Just do it. Yeah, Movie Raph is pretty solid. I mean, like, I do love the, like, the... Raph just, like, looking like a, an old-school P.I. walking through the streets in New York. There is something about that that I just... Is, it resonates. Oh, here we go. Green Arrow. Lantern. Arrow. Of course. Oh, fuck no! Okay. Well, we get to see grapplers or zoners. What's my bigger problem? Oh, it just freezes you in the air like that? Oh, that's that's pretty sick. Right. Fun fact, Passenger Cab in the Raft Suit was the actor- Oh! Interesting! I didn't know that! That's actually super neat. Frickin' heck! Oh no, I didn't want the reset. Oh, that was well, well deserved, Mr. Arrow. Yo, this chip is something else. Yeah, don't let him breathe, don't let him run. So meaty. Oh, so it's keeping me in proximity block, and so some of my normals aren't coming out? Is that what's going on? Because I was hitting some crouch heavies there.
Yeah, Hawkeye Doom. This is, yeah, he doesn't even need Doom to do Hawkeye Doom. not get thrown every now and again. though, Mike. Dang! Like, when I get a hit, I gotta at least be confirming into a special. Even if it's just, like, crouch heavy into special. Hey, Hiko, how's it going? Because, yeah, he's just throwing me out of that. A lot of Sam Show players on, on Arrow, oddly. What do you know? And, yes, you go, Smash, uh, sorry, Raph has a Psycho Crusher. It's pretty dumb. But I gotta, I gotta contend with this freaking Hawkeye here, clone. This is, like, definitely Shades of Marvel 3 for me, where I'm like, there's too much pressure, guys. Good anti -air. Not letting me... How did that whip? Wow, that was a combo. Yeah, he can change between ice and fire arrows, so the AI does it as a joke. Amazing. Who needs taunts when you can just, like, style on someone like that? Get around, get around, Mike. 
Yeah, it, it, the, the runaway is, is unreal. And this, then he chooses not to. a razor fucking arrow that goes low? No one told me about this. <laughs> oh, Toby saying, yeah, you play Wingnut, Slash, Arrow, Wrath, Batman, Despero in this version. And for sure, like, all of the characters that I've played so far have been, have been delightful. Even the ones I've played against have really interesting designs. versus Street Fighter style loading screen too. Mm, yeah. Ching -ching. The foot soldiers in the car in the background, like this one gives me shit, like vibes of um, uh, TMNT three for the NES. Damn, can we get over that. Oh, I wanted the Omega. I had the meter. That would have killed. Oh, TMNT 1 Arcade. Oh! Damn. Okay, that's true. I rarely played the arcade version of TMNT 1, right? I always played it on the NES, so... Oh, that's interesting. Cool. Oh, here we go, Omega Shredder. Kame, you've done, and your whole, whoever else is working on this, I know there's more than just you, but likely. Um, but oh man, this is fantastic. Far. I thought I was going to be able to reach with the jump in. Yeah, I saw that when I was doing my button check for the turbo version that it has tag mechanics. I was like, ooh, sweet. I 
I should have just gone for the O. Oh my god. Nope. Nope. Challenge in the air. And then the throw. Oh, my G. Omega Shredder. Omega Shredder. Not joking around. There you go. There we go. Oh, wait, stun. Ah, uh, I should have noticed. Not like this. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Oh, I thought it was a jump in. I tried to end here. Ah, uh, no. Just, just give me that. There you go. <laughs> yeah, it's true. It's scissor kicks. It is. He has, he has Psycho Crusher and scissor kicks. Just give him the head stomp. <laughs>